Next comes the most important part is placement of your bands into your Facebook so that your Facebook gets secured with your appliance. So which how to select a Facebook? So we have different types of Facebook. We have a small type, medium type and a large type. See it's nothing but how you select an earthware to your patient. So similarly you have, you have to select your inner part of your Facebook to the delegate. So when you when you start selecting it, <coughs> first and foremost is make sure that your inner bow arch matches with the contour of your activator. More or less it is matching here in this case. So following this, you have to start placement of the midline. So you mark the midline, mark the midline onto the Facebook. Similarly, mark the midline for your activator also so and try to coordinate it more or less if you check this is in appliance in appliance this head gear tube and the inner bow they are quite parallel to each other that means it goes in well coordination now the most next important thing is to secure past the inner bows and start placement of wire bend. Please start placing the bends in the wire. I hope all of you can see that I can I can move some this is a there's a small steel tubings which are present which are given in this. this that is that is which can be placed as locks or it can be kept as in a spacer. It can be used for both the purposes, which can be used as in a spacer or also can be used as stops. So how you place your archway in the patient's mouth in the same way, you, you will be passing the wire into the main tube of your molar. So in the similar way, you are going to pass it to the head gear tube. So first slide into one and into the other, then it will not pass so easily because they are not parallel. The path of insertion, path of removal is little difficult. So slowly you have to compress it and pass. And make sure that make sure that after passing that more or less you should have a more equal amount of space, equal amount of space throughout the activator. So that shows that shows that your inner bow of your assembly is more or less parallel to your outer part of your activator appliance. So this keeps your appliance in symmetry with the arch. It keeps your, it maintains the symmetry of your appliance with the inner part of the face pole. So following this then you have to put stops because if you apply any force to this it slides off. So you have to stop this sliding of the bow inside the head gear tube. So there are different ways to do it. You can put a green lock, you can put a soldered post, you can put steel tubings, you can use lock mechanisms. So there are varieties or combinations are there. But in our department, we usually follow placement of offsets, placement of offset in the Facebook. That offset is not something different, it is the same as we do in a big in stage 3 where we put in a molar offset, in a straight wire appliance where we put molar offset in the first order of your feed technique or else when we need to bypass, when you need to put a bypass, so when you, for that bypass what bend you place that is called as in a horizontal offset. So similarly you are going to put horizontal offset, so exactly you have to mark in front of the head gear tube, in front of the head gear tube. So once you remove this, disengage the appliance from the, from the activator, you can see the markings, now comes the placement of the bends. So usually it is accomplished by using using Adam's player which is an heavy duty Adam's player 
which is available from dentra but i do accomplish this with our regular adams plier it only comes it is only simply how simplify you can do your work that is always better so come to placement of your bends so to always make sure that you always orient the face bow parallel to your floor so that is your anatomic plane now so you can give horizontal offset by holding like this and you can give offset bend by holding like this so this bend is not parallel to your to your face bow so your offset needs to be parallel that means always oriented to the plane so the best is the floor taking the floor is parallel so place your plier inside place your plier inside then apply a slight pressure with your thumb so about about 35 to 40 degree or 45 degree bend to the part of the arch where similarly similarly on the other side on the other side on the other side then if you look at both of them the more of both of them are more or less very quite symmetrical next comes placement of the other bend so that you need to put a stop so how much should be there leave about 2 to 3 mm of to leave about 2 to 3 mm of space which the the beak of the adams plier it is about 1 mm so shifting it by 0.5 mm will get about 1.5 to 2 mm of offset then on the other side 